Hey, hey Violet Kitty, how you doing? Violet Kitty. Um, this is my third video since I got up, and I'm like, I keep telling myself, balance, Ian, balance. Chill, you make so many videos. And then I think, it's so many videos that it's going to be hard for everybody to watch all your videos. But then I think, so what? This isn't about other people, this is about communication. And I want to talk to you. So that's why I made the video. I and I broke down and I watched. Yeah, I don't. I don't watch a lot of videos. Not normally. That's not true. Anyway, I watched some of your videos. I watched the one on um, the two on on Jesus, and I watched. Uh, What's the other one called? I'm not gonna go look for it right now. And I saw all about the the car. Oh, I watched the car. Uh, the one, the autobiographical music video that you did, which was really cool. And I, I was, saw that you were talking about the car crash. I didn't know that you got into that car accident and that it messed up uh, your, the way you walked. But it seems like that's, I'm sure that's just a huge part of your life. I'm, I, I'm surprised you don't talk about it more. I'm not surprised. But don't ever be afraid because what we go through and what we experience in life is what makes us who we are and what makes us just amazing fucking people the individual you know the the work that we have to do up here is what makes i think what makes us inspiring individuals the adversity that we overcome and the like going getting in a car accident and having to like rehabilitate the way you walk is overcoming adversity on the de deepest level physically or one of, you know, pretty much. It's on the level with everything else. But th that's the thing, there's no shame attached with it. Ever. And it's it's this sociological shame that, like, we're different, so we're bad. or we're, And, and it's, it's that's bullshit to me. That is such a mistake that, that society perpetuates that. Yeah, you, you, get, you get hurt, you talk about it, and then you, you keep doing what you do. And that's what I like about you is that you're I'm looking at your face on the screen right now is that you're just you're doing what you do and YouTube gives us the opportunity to do what we do regardless of what we look like it's not about what we look like it has nothing to do with any kind of physical it's it's all about what we what we communicate and, and what we create um, mentally I guess it's, it's like about a, a real community of minds I don't know, I don't, I've been telling Amanda to, I've been encouraging her to not use makeup as much, because I, I think, like, I hate to see people feel like they look better with makeup on, because people don't look better with makeup on, they just look different, and I think when people, when people wear makeup, they start to all kind of look more alike, even, like, we all start to look made up, I say we, I wore makeup on Saturday night, last Saturday night's. There's no coincidences. On Saturday night, I was in a play called Roxy and the Foxy Den. It was about strippers, and they wanted to get this mannish stripper. And they asked me if I would do it, because they thought casting a man would be more interesting than casting a woman. And I was like, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'll try that. I've never, I've never worn, like, or heels. I'll show you. These. It was intense. It was, it was, and I wore this outfit, like, it's crazy. It's red, and it's real small. It's like for a small woman. But like, it's crazy because it's me overcoming a fear that I've had my whole life, a sociological fear of dressing in women's clothing. There's nothing wrong with dressing in women's clothing. There's nothing wrong with it. People can do whatever people want to do. Sexuality, let people be who they want to be. That's what I say. That's what I believe. That's what I say, that's what I believe. I really believe it. Um, and I, I guess there was no point to me, to my response really. It was more just about uh, I don't know, telling you, I don't know, what's the point of communication? It feels good. It felt good to do this. It feels good. It feels good now. <sighs> I hope that uh, you're doing well. I'll talk to you soon.